What's going on everybody? As always, it's a blessing to be here and welcome to UL Exchange. If you guys are new to this channel, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so you can be notified every single time I drop information pack videos just like the one you're watching right now. By that being said guys, let's get straight into today's video topic which will be the demise and fall of Tether. USDT and why SEC won't regulate crypto space until Tether falls. And this has major, major implications on the rise of XRP. So why or what is the leading factor of the demise of Tether? And we'll get into a couple articles that have came out back then when it got sued. So this article came out in September 30, 2021, and another one came out this year in September, but we'll also take a look at another article that came out in October of this year and another article that came out in September of this year. So let's get started. Tether settles a one trillion lawsuit regarding manipulation. One trillion dollar lawsuit. How crazy is that, guys? And what is Tether? Tether is a so-called algorithmic stablecoin to where it's supposed to stay at a dollar it should not go above a dollar it could be gravitating above a dollar and zero one point zero zero one cent and it can be going the different direction of around the 99 cents and 99.9 .9 cents but it should always be stable between those numbers but we have seen it depegging a little bit and it could be because of these things that are coming out, these articles, but also in the recent case of the FTX, we have all seen a demise and a crazy fall of what one huge platform can do within two years and then the fall of two years as well. And even traders know what happens when you put a lot of things into trading or a lot of uh, basically all your assets into one basket. But we can see in the case of FTX and Alameda res Research, what that occurred to and what that caused them to fall. So now as we're getting into Tether, how can Tether affect the whole cryptocurrency space? As we see, it's the number three with market cap. And that is the majority holder of people that have basically scared of the dollar, scared of the index and put it into USDT as just a stable coin to just keep it stable so inflation won't attack it. And there are a lot of crypto winners or crypto millionaires, crypto billionaires that have taken out their profits and put it aside in USDT and USDC. So imagine if Tether USDT falls with billions and billions and billions in the backing. Matter of fact, let me just correctly tell you guys the current state of Tether and how much it holds. Currently, USDC, USDT Tether has $67 billion market cap with a volume of 24 hour being 48 billion. Look how closely parallel, parallel, closely related they are. So let's get straight into the article. The market manipulation saga. The plaintiff who presented the case to the court said the accused were deceptive market manipulative and anti-competitive. So they're basically clearing out all the bad names and holding it to themselves. According to the complaint, this caused the total market capitalization of cryptocurrencies to skyrocket to 795 billion in late of October, 2017. And then the plaintiffs are five crypto traders. We continue on. And Tether law lawyer admitted that Tether was only 74% backed. And you can see the case revolved around allegedly 850 million cover up for a loss. And the court also asked Tether to provide quarterly reserve reports for the next two years. There have seen more lawsuit, both major and minor regarding Tether and Bitfinex. And I made a video on Tether and Bitfinex situation a long time ago, about a year, year and a half, if I'm not mistaken. But if you're interested, take a look at that. That's just the background history of Tether and the manipulation and the, all the backfiring they got caught in. And again, they settled. But we can see so much involvement of Tether and even being sued by the New York Attorney General. It gets to that point. So are they all around intertwined between this cryptocurrency industry? And how could that affect you or me? A simple 
investor within these markets. Tether says new core order to produce USDT reserve banking is a routine discovery matter. So quote unquote, and within the ongoing investigation, the firm said that the decision did not sustain any of the claims listed. Quote, they said this, we have already agreed to produce documents sufficient to establish the reserves backing of USDT. And this dispute merely concerned the scope of documents to be produced. As always, we look forward to dispensing with plaintiffs baseless lawsuit in due course, end quote. Then that's what they said. And Tether was involved in the lawsuit in October 2019 with the exchange Bifinex engaged in market manipulation by issuing USDT that were not backed by United States dollar with the intention of using them to purchase volatile cryptocurrencies as such as Bitcoin. Tether has already been involved in so much allegations. Will it take one more huge allegation for it to fall to its demise? This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. And to be careful, please be careful. If you're holding any cryptocurrencies, be careful. If you're holding Tether, be extra careful. When we have seen Crypto.com's um, portfolio revealed, which is so dumb to me, it's just my opinion, but they should have never revealed their portfolio at the end of the day. It just makes it so easy for somebody to attack them. I believe they have over 20 or 15% in SHIB holdings. Maybe they know something we don't know. And, I, and I'm a huge proponent of SHIB as well, but what could that drop of effect uh, uh, that SHIB can have and how could that affect Crypto.com? Could Crypto.com be another exchange that can fall? Man, guys, the Black Swan event is coming. I'm making you guys prepared. At the end of the day, I just present you guys with the truth and the facts. You make the final decision. You, yes, behind the screen watching me. You make the final decision. But you have to be careful and always be vigilant. What happens if Tether falls? So U.S. judge removes legal firm Roach Friedman from class action against Tether Bifinex report. This report came out on October 14, 2022. The firm was removed even after its controversial founder, Kyle Roach, we have discussed this multiple times, filed to withdraw from the case. So to sum it up, a New York judge took the action despite Kyle Roach, crypto lawyer and founding partner Roach Friedman filing earlier to step away from his law firm's class action practice. So in August, what happened in August of this year? A whistleblower cites crypto leaks published a series of damning videos accusing Roach of weaponizing class action lawsuits to collect sensitive information on various crypto companies. Roach has denied the allegations. Why wouldn't he deny the allegations, guys? At the end of the day, this could be his fall as well. Or has he already fallen? Or has he taken a fall for something that should have been taken a fall back then but has he taken a fall to prevent or to delay the falling of tether only time will tell the truth will always be revealed at the end of the day guys that's what i try to tell y'all but we move on to the other article stable coin issuer tether ordered to produce documents showing backing of usdt and this came out on september 21 2022 the order required tether to produce general quote unquote lenders, the balance sheet, their income statements, the cash flow statements, and profits and loss statements, end quote. And also the records of any traders or transfers to cryptocurrencies or any other stable coins by Tether, including information about the timing of the traders. So let's go a little bit down and try to find a conclusion of what's going on. Concurrently, there is also a lawsuit before the New York Supreme Court to have the New York Attorney General release documents it gathered in its investigative or in its investigation into Tether Reserves, Coindesk is a party to this case. The New York Attorney General probe into Tether Reserves concluded in February of 2021 with an $18.5 million settlement. How many settlements, how many payments can Tether make to finally say, hey guys, it's over, the fall has begun. The Black Swan event has come. 
And the reason for me to talk about this, number one, to keep everybody safe in the cryptocurrency market space, but to also tell you guys, XRP is a true coin agenda. XRP is the only one that will not leave you in demise. XRP is backed by over 55, say it with me, say it with me, countries. Yeah, maybe a little hard for you maxis, like Bitcoin maxis to say it out loud because it hurts your brain to truly believe what is true. 55 countries and over 120 currencies. Yes. And there are no coincidences in life. There are true occurrences to what happened within these cryptocurrency market space. And what can be the true black swan event? Tether USDT falling, crushing the cryptocurrency stablecoin algorithm. And then out of the ashes of the phoenix, a new one rises, which is XRP. Why do you guys think XRP is so freaking cheap? That's the reason to distract you from the true agenda of what's truly going on. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. I appreciate you for tuning into this video. The next video will be about XRP and XLM. Don't forget about XLM as well. If you guys watch this video, if you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys for tuning into this video again. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. I love every single one of y'all. Let's keep growing. Let's keep getting this Wi-Fi money. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.